everyone I am back and today I've got a favorites video for you so I am gonna show you some of my favorite things from the month of May I haven't got too much because to be honest with you my life doesn't change that much from month to month but I have got a few little things so the first thing this summer I'm actually going to try and grow out my hair I know that sounds like crazy because I love my short hair I do prefer it however recently I've just been longing for some like long swishy hair so I'm gonna give it a little go if I don't like it then I'm just gonna chop it again and the last time that I grew it long was when I was planning to donate it so I wanted to grow it really quickly and the way I did that was by using these two miracle hair products this is the Lee Stafford hair growth shampoo and conditioner this works miracles on me so in the past couple of weeks I've used this about five times I think I sort of alternate it with my other shampoo and conditioner and I've already noticed a difference in the length of my hair but the other thing I did to grow it was sleeping with my hair tied up I read somewhere that it like stimulates the hair follicles I don't have it like in a tight ponytail but even just having it sort of like in that direction encourages growth so I've been using this and sleeping with my hair up and my hair is starting to grow Woohoo! the next thing is also kind of shower related it is this this Satsuma shower gel from the body shop as you may have seen last week I went to Barcelona and this sounds really sad and losery but I like to have a distinct smell to remember a holiday so this was the one that I chose to take away with me and now when I smell it I think of Barcelona so every time I use it I'm gonna have good memories don't ask me why I do that I've done it for years whether it's a perfume or a shower gel I always take a new fragrance with me when I go abroad <laughs> such a loser but I love the smell of this that's why it's in the favorite the next thing I have been loving in May is sparkles in general. <laughs> if you follow me on Snapchat, you might have seen that recently I changed up my bedroom quite a lot. I added a lot of bling, a lot of sparkles, and I am loving it. I don't know why. I used to be really against diamonds and sparkles and glitter. I thought it looked tacky, but now I just love it. <laughs> I don't know what has brought on this change. I mean, don't get me wrong, my room isn't like sparkle central, but I've got a few like little accent pieces and I really like it. And one of my favourite things that I've bought on my little upgrade are these drinks coasters. As you can see, they're mirrored there's my camera oh look we can see a sparkly cushion in the coaster over here we've got a sparkly alarm clock another sparkly coaster and sparkly lamp along with this lamp so many people asked me where I got these coasters from on snapchat and I actually got them from a local garden center I don't know if this is just Essex but I've found that if you go into a local garden center they always have a section full of like sparkles bling diamonds and this pack of four was I think six pounds so not expensive either my next favorite is one that's a little bit different and it is actually my driving license I passed my test on the 18th of May I think it was the 18th anyway I don't know it feels like ages ago now but I'm so happy I've passed my driving license is one of my most prized possessions so that is a definite favorite the next thing is something that I actually picked up in Barcelona I have wanted to invest in a good pair of sunglasses for quite a while now and I thought now because I've passed my driving test and I'm gonna be driving in the summer I've got to have good sunglasses none of these like six pound H&M ones that always feel blurry I wanted a nice pair that weren't gonna impair my vision so I got these ones from sunglass hut which I do believe we have it in the UK as well so I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to get these in the UK but they're from Tiffany and I absolutely love Tiffany like love the jewelry love everything from there and they look like this they are so pretty and what I really liked about them is that they're blue on the inside and when I was talking to the staff member in the shop he was saying that with my skin tone and my hair color and my eye color the blue really subtly complements me and I have to say I think he was right and he also recommend this shape to suit my face because I have quite a little face I have a bit of a pea head but I love them they're just quite simple and on the sides they just say T and co and they've got two little diamonds super pretty and I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these because I've already worn them a lot okay moving on to my next favorite it is this bag from pretty little thing you may have seen that I wore this all around Barcelona I didn't want to take a big bag with me because I didn't need a lot of stuff so I didn't want to be carrying like a really heavy big handbag so this is an across the body type bag as you can see it's got these little roses embroidered on it with a gold zip and it has a secret pocket in it as well which I really liked I mentioned this in a previous haul but it's like suede velvety I don't know what you would call that I had a lot of use out of this in Barcelona it was just the perfect size and it wasn't expensive I can't remember exactly how much but I will put the price of it 
here. Sorry to keep banging on about my holiday, I sound like such a typical Brit. But before I went away, I also invested in a good, comfortable pair of trainers because it wasn't like a relaxing holiday, it was more of an exploring, looking around the city, so I knew we were going to be doing a lot of walking. So I actually chose this pair of trainers from Skechers. I really like these. I know that a lot of people my age don't really choose Skechers unless you're like going to the gym. But I thought these ones were just quite plain, quite simple, and they didn't scream like Skechers, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but they are super lightweight, they're really squishy on the inside. These are honestly the most comfortable pair of shoes I own. They didn't take any breaking in, and I'm still going to wear them in the summer, probably most days. I have just three things left, and they're kind of like beauty related. So the first thing is this from Urban Decay. This was in my P.O. Box haul. It is the Lip Love Shea Butter Coconut Oil Moisturising Lip Balm type thing. I've been using this a lot. I find that it makes my lips feel really soft. You can feel that you have lip balm on, but once it's sunken in, sunken, sank, I don't know. Once it's gone, your lips feel so soft. Like, imagine if your lips had a face mask. That's kind of what this product makes it feel like. I'm going to use this a lot, especially in the summer, to protect my lips in the sun and just to keep them nice and moisturised. Love that. The next thing is the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll Mega Volume Mascara. I first saw this when Sophie Foster recommended it on her Snapchat. Whenever Sophie Foster recommends makeup product, I always trust her opinion because her makeup always looks amazing and I feel like she's really honest with the makeup she likes and her eyelashes looked amazing, like that was the main thing. So I went out and bought it and I absolutely love it. You can put on just a little bit and it looks quite dainty, which is what I've done today. Or you can build it up quite a lot and make your lashes really like out there. I think this is my favorite mascara I have ever had. That's a bold statement. <laughs> and my final favourite is a new moisturiser. It is this Hawaiian Tropic After Sun Body Butter. I actually have spray tans quite a lot in the summer because I am super pale. And I had my first spray tan of the year before I went on holiday. Just a side note, I would fake tan myself, but it always looks awful. So I'd rather just go and pay someone to spray me. <laughs> but in my local salon, one of the girls told me that if I use this twice a day after having a spray tan, that my tan would last for three weeks. Okay, so it didn't last for three weeks. It actually lasted well for about a week and a half. And then it started to look a bit patchy and stuff. But even a week and a half of a good spray tan is longer than usual. But as well, because I was in Barcelona, the fact that it was after sun as well was really handy because my skin always felt moisturized. I did get a little bit burned. I tried to cover it up with makeup a little bit, but this was really soothing on my skin and it smells like coconuts. Honestly, it smells like holiday in a nutshell. And this is super cheap. You can get it for like, I think five pounds in boots. So this has been a definite favorite this month. So that is it for this monthly favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really sorry if the lighting has been up and down. It's a cloudy day, so the sun is not reliable. Should have thought about that before I started, but I didn't. Let me know in the comments down below what is your one favorite thing from the past month? I would love to know. Do subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!